Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Titans franchise season two. If you were excited for Madden 24, kill like button. Are you guys, are you guys gonna be there day one watching the videos? Watching, I have a franchise team in mind, but I'm still listening to the comments. Keep commenting because I that's gonna be the comment question today. What franchise team do we start, and what team are you most excited to use in Madden 24, guys? I if you're listening right now, okay, I am going to leave a keyword for my golf channel. I've changed the name to TD Barrett Golf. Comment. Because I just want to see who, if you're hashtag from TD on that golf video, I'm going to try my best to subscribe to as many of you guys who comment that. I'm literally going to go through and try and sub to all you guys. That It would mean the world if you guys check that out. I promise I will be daily uploading Madden 24 and everything. But if you guys can give this golf channel a chance, this is my side dream. I'm, I'm doing side quests. Think of me as a video gamer. This is a side quest that I'm doing. And I just posted a video today. Please go check it out. I love you guys. God bless. Tighten up, let's go win the Super Bowl. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, bam, season two. I'm sorry, please kill like, but guys, I can't lose my job. Every time I wake up, I get to come here and I get to freaking play Madden is my favorite franchise. Please, let's get another Titan season. 10,000 likes this video. I know there's 10,000 you're gonna watch it. Just click the like button. Click the like button. Hashtag Will Levis. Comments down below. And guys, this is the first common question today. For those of you who watched the entire first season, who was your guys' favorite player and why during the first season? Um, was it D-Hop? Was it Henry? Was it Byron? Was it uh, Will Levis? Who was your guys' most shocking favorite player? To me, I think it was McMath. I think I think Racy McMath was uh, was easily my favorite, most shocking because of how dominant he was. That's where I loved him. One thousand yards, thirty-four receptions, and fourteen touchdowns. And he just mossed everybody. Like, literally was mossing people left, right, center. He did not care whatsoever. Um, and that's why I thought he was probably my most shocking. Will Levis, I expected big things from. Did I necessarily expect to win MVP my first season with Will Levis? Absolutely not. Was that one of the coolest things that I've ever done? Absolutely. I won MVP with D-Hop and a bunch of random receivers. Um, I think that was, honestly, he's just a beast. He's big, he's strong. I've been doing scrambler upgrades, so he's fast now. Like, I could run some read option with him. The sky is the limit with Will Levis, and I'm super excited for the future. In the offseason, Henry went down. D-Hop went up to X-Factor, which was really, really, really cool. Um, so he gets route apprentice and short in, double me. Um, he's got 90 speed, 88 acceleration. And I, like, Chagosium is still bronze, unfortunately. Wiley is still bronze. Our DB situation is still a little bit interesting. And there's going to be some question marks and things that we definitely need to work on in the offseason to um, to make this interesting it is kind of where I'm going. Sean Murphy Bunting has said no to two offers. Now, um, he just has no interest in playing for me. So it's like, at, at what point is he... He is tall. I'm going to offer him this. Yeah, that's a big offer for him. It leaves me with only 61, but I do want to make sure I bring back Murphy Bunting. Um, everyone else here, except for Josh Thompson. Josh Thompson was a really, really, really good player. He doesn't really require any money. Yeah, Josh Thompson had like 20 sacks last season. He was actually like my leading sack yesterday. Nick Westbrook, Aaron Brewer, I'm okay losing. Even though Aaron Brewer is 6'1", 71. Yeah, no. So what I want to talk about now is where I'm going in the offseason, where my money is going to be spent. I felt like crunch time really, 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 really struggled um, to uh, to go and get to the, like, really struggled to block Miles Garrett. That was the biggest issue. Miles Garrett was unblockable. And I like Nicholas Petit Frere, but like, the dude did have his troubles out there. He really, really, really did. So I definitely look at this as O-line. I want to try and get a good tackle. We have a late pick. I see myself, Andre Dillard, I thought was really good. I'm impressed with him. Is he like unreal in this game? No, but I definitely am going to look for a tackle as we go. That That's kind of the plan. Um, and we'll see kind of how that looks. Now, as far as other positions of need, D-line, we got Jeffrey in the middle. Um, Tier Tart ended up going up to Stardev last season, which was awesome. So we kind of have our defense. And I just paid him a bunch of money. 
I would say an edge rusher is a is a position of need, someone to to rush with Harold Landry. Um and then DB, getting another DB. But we're gonna see where free agency lies. I only have 60 million. We we're not crazy rich. Um I only have 60 million dollars in the bank. So we're gonna see how this goes um and see who's in free agency. Oh gosh. Okay, don't do every part don't do it. Don't click the button. If I sign him, unsubscribe to my channel. If I sign him, never talk to me again. I do not, do not sign him. No, if I sign him, literally don't. I don't talk to me ever again. Okay, people that I'm most interested in here. Ooh, okay. That's a big time free agent. Nicole is there. Uh, he's gonna get a way overpaid. House Davenport. Bring Julio back for our last dance. I don't... Isaiah Hodgins I like. We don't really have a true Moss him receiver on this team anymore. How much does Hodgins want? Bronze Dev. Five a year is a little much. Taylor Lewan, bring him back for a season to play some tackle. Dalton Risner. If Allen was super... I could get him because nobody else is going to want him. 17 mil a year for the kid. That's the thing that's just, that's the stressful thing. Maybe a Ryan Neal. I don't know if that's what I need. I need a kicker, Loki. I actually want this guy. Mooty Mooty would be a good player for us actually. I would splurge on, I would I would go seven million for a good guard. I don't know if he's gonna say yes necessarily, but I, I think he's actually worth it. As far as an edge rusher, we can go a few different directions. He's I just don't think I can give him seventeen million a year without any assurance that he would be higher. You know what I mean? I think I'd rather attack that in the draft. Um Gidry's got three offers. I'd love Gidry. I might actually go for Gidry. I don't splurge that much, but he's a super effective guy on the outside. I might offer Gidry a decent deal. An overpay. Gilly is a good mentor, and Peters is... I like Peters, but not at 11 mil. I'd rather play 11 mil to... Um, to Gidry. William Jackson's a stud, but he is 30. Mike Edwards. I think as far as a round one, I'm like happy targeting these three. I think Gidry is going to require a bit of a bag. I'd probably realistically say Gidry with 97 speed at 25 is worth... I would confidently say he's worth about... He has no team interest. I'd say he'd add about that much value to the team. So I'm going to offer him that and see. I'm hoping to get Muti and Gidry. That would be super ideal. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, who did we get? I got $38 million. That I think that tells me. Gidry! And oh my, I overpaid. I didn't though. In a lot of, that is so huge. Oh, I knew I had to overpay. I knew I had to overpay. Honestly, guys, I have 297 speed DB. Gidry, I know this seems crazy, but he's still young. I can make him into a beast. I can find a way to make this guy into a beast. He's 97 speed, 95 acceleration. Um, and McManus is also a stud. I'm quite happy with those. Now, I'm curious about Muti if maybe just the offer wasn't right at this time. That's what I'm... Uh, if... If my my targeted is still there, or did somebody else snag Muti? I thought he, I thought I had a good chance to get him. Someone did. Wow, who got who got Muti? That's the million dollar question. The Jags gave him three by sixteen. Hey, power power to the Jags! Shout out to the Jags. Um, 
Okay, round two, I'm looking at potentially, I don't need, I'm like, I overpaid a little bit, but not really. I think I want to attack the rest of things in the draft. I don't want to go broke in free agency. I don't think there's anyone here, if I'm being honest, who I'm ready to like completely go broke for. So it's just not, there's no one in this other than who I got, who I want to spend money on. I want to save that. I only have 42 million. I want to save that. We still have the draft. We got two. Um, well, we have a late first, obviously. So we'll just do our best. But as of right now, Gidry is going to fit in. Um, I'm, I'm pumped for Gidry. I really, really, really am. That's like actually a huge... As much as I did overpay, I completely understand you're going to be mad at me. If you've ever played Madden, I didn't. $18 million a year over six years. I could probably make that guy a superstar. Like I, He's so fast. I'll probably put him at wide side left DB. And it'll be Murphy bunting him and Gidry or as a safety. And he'll have that value. I promise you, you will not leave here thinking that I got ripped off. Gidry will be worth the $18 million that I paid him. And McManus, a new kicker, is clutch. So, two signings in free agency. Love them both. Okay, we have pick 26 in this draft. I thought as the actual draft was going on, I would do my uh, talk about people that I'm most interested in. I would say my interest level would be... Ruben and JC Latham, if I were to try and tell you guys right now who my most likely first picks would be, it would be it would be those two. Um potentially this Bryce Foster, but I think those are kind of the main positions of need that I see. Now, I'm not also I'm not opposed to any of these outside linebackers. We don't have a true like punch you in the face outside linebacker. Um, DB, I feel good at now. I don't think DB is necessarily a position I need to go crazy for. We don't have a true punch him in the face linebacker. So we'll see who goes in these first few picks and then I'll, I'll talk. Okay, so Jack Sawyer actually went first, which was a little bit bizarre. Um, it I don't really feel the need to trade up. Is I don't like, it's not really in the cards. Receiver, I think, had it not been for the marvelous season of Racy McMath, I would have been looking for someone here, but I just don't think, like, I won MVP with those receivers. I, I know I can win with those receivers. So if there was, like, a burner, like, if Xavier Worthy was there, or maybe a Buka, but I just don't know where these guys would fit in, because I already feel really good at receivers, so that's, I don't necessarily think I would want that to be my first pick this Corey Foreman's a stud Leonard Taylor's a stud don't really need D-line bit of a drop off at this like even at pick seven like I wish I could trade up and get Dallas Turner like he's got elite speed the guy's a stud I can't believe he's still there but I just don't know if I have the chips to um to trade up and get someone like him I'd love to trade up and get a James Williams dude six foot five user the four three nine like all these dudes I'd like to try and trade up for, but I just, what do I offer? Like, there goes James Williams. What do I offer to get those? I don't know if I necessarily have it. What number should Gidry wear? Let's let's look at Gidry because I, I like, I want to talk about this while they draft. Gidry, I feel like, will look coolest in, like, number. I feel like he always lacks a little bit of swag. Let's go, like, yeah, that suits him. That suits him, 100%. Like, smoked visor. Because, like, this is, I get this is not the most exciting, but this is actually a huge signing for a very slow secondary. Ooh, that's tough. Is it, though? I feel like I suck at doing this. Everyone always says I do. That looks sick. Okay, Gidry, like I said... That is either going to be my like field side corner. I'm gonna do everything I can to make him a superstar. He's only 25 years old, 297 speed DBs. That helped the defense so much. Okay, I'll see you guys in 16 picks. Okay, guys, we are one pick away. TSAP is up at the moment. Are both wow, are both the tackles gone? Next up, the Titans are on the clock. That actually just threw a huge wrench in all of my plan. Both the tackles are gone that I was considering. <sighs> McKinstry out of Alabama is... 
Dude, you got a top tier corner just sitting there. You got a really top tier corner just sitting. So as far as edge rushers. I just feel like right now the best corner in the draft is just sitting here. He didn't run well. But McKinstry's a stud. Oh, I don't know. He didn't run overly well. But like, I... Joe Alt is here. He's a stud. I just don't know. I, I was thinking more Gordon or the other guy. Egbuka would add something, but I just think I have that in McMath. I like our big receivers. How, how tall is he? He's 6'1". I think I'm going to go McKinstry here from Alabama. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go for the kid McKinstry. Okay. Boom! Let's go. That's all right. Hey, the 89 speed does not... I don't fear that. I really, really, really don't. He is one of, if not the best corner in that draft. To get him here, he slid all the way just because of his size. I can play him at nickel. I can play him at safety if he's a liability. But he's six foot one, 186, good acceleration, good change of direction, uh, and hidden depth. Good zone, A press, a tough corner. Like I said, probably realistically one upgrade away from being really good. Did I go into this expecting McKinstry to be my pick at 26? No. But am I pleasantly surprised that McKinstry was there at 26? 100%. Um, yeah, I think that's a really, really, really good pick. Just to bring him in as like potentially the young corner to develop. Like we have a really, really, really good DB group. Um, like young, growing DB group here that I'm happy with. Like, we got uh, Murphy Bunting, who I just signed, Farley, Gidry, McKinstry, and Fulton. One of those guys probably will jump back and play safety. But, like, we got some speed. We got some young talent. We got Murphy Bunting, who's got some good... Sp like, this is a team that we can definitely um, play some man coverage with. I'm going to have McKinstry be my starting corner on the left. And cross my fingers, I can make him into a lockdown, just like stud that that that's the goal of the entire thing so round two um that's gonna be a whole other question where we go round two i i don't really know at this point um maybe a tackle if uh one of the if joe alt was still there i'd go joe alt if javante gordon was still there i'd go him um wyatt millam is also like all three of these guys i think i can get part of the reason i didn't take a tackle there is because i feel like there is a lot of depth so Potentially, you could see me getting a tackle round two. We'll see. Okay, so round two, pick 24. This is going... Wyatt Millam is there. Jack Nelson, Marcus Tate, Miles Hinton, Lucas Van Ness, Chance Williams. I'd love to grab... That's elite speed on Chance Williams, actually. I actually think I want Chance Williams. 4-4-9... Four, four, that, I, we're really slow on the D-line. I was going to overthink this, but I actually think that might be my pick. Um, I like his speed, honestly, more than anything. I like his speed. He's just, he's around 2-3 projection. He's got good power moves. At 4-4-9, he's interesting. Yeah. That's all right. A little bit undersized at the position, but at 87 speed, I actually thought he'd be a little bit faster. Slightly disappointed with that. Um... But I wanted to get a better kind of speed defensive rusher. I was very big up front, like just a lot more defensive tackle guys. So at the end of the day, I'm happy with that. Um, let's see. Because like where, where I'm going, what I mean by that is like if you look at my, D, my rushers on the line, we're just really slow up front. Like every position is slow. I feel like no matter what, I just need some speed. Nothing against Danico, but like these are not real pass rush threats. The guy we just got is 100% a pass rusher. Even our outside linebackers are all slow. So, at the end of the day, um, I'm happy with that. The show goes on. And, uh, yeah. Okay, we'll continue. Okay, so round three. Still have not gotten a tackle. 
Wyatt Millam is there. Um, this is kind of where I... Uh, Miles Hinton, did he run well? Great speed for Miles Hinton. I actually kind of like him maybe a little more. I like speed in my tackles in this game. Someone's got to guard Miles Garrett. I feel like Miles Hinton's not a horrible pick here just because he does have that good 489 speed. At right tackle. I'm going to go Miles Hinton. Okay, he's an 80 acceleration. Um, a impact. Maybe a little bit of a reach, but he's good. got good speed. I feel like he's going to fit in and play in front of Nicholas petit Fran. I got that in the third round, which makes me happy. So... We'll see how that goes. A impact blocking, B to D lead block, and C pass block. A little bit of room for air worry, but at 6'7", 328, if you have 80 acceleration, you should be able to get out there and give me a chance for his Miles Garrett. Mic check. Oh, okay, draft, recap, and then we're going to get these players looking exactly how they do. Okay, McKinstry is like, this is what I said. He is a walk-in 76 overall. 89 speed, 94 acceleration. He walks onto this team already a 76. Okay, so his full name is Kool-Aid McKinstry, which is so cool. Uh, but you can't put Kool-Aid... Um, it's his actual name, so I just have Cool McKinstry. So that that's his name. Chance Williams, seventy three overall. Um, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna play that. Dude. I I really do. Miles Hinton, seventy one, for a third round player. I like that, and I like his seventy four speed. Like I said, I do think he's got a good chance to develop. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, give me a chance to block up some of these studs that he's going to be going up against in uh, the AFC because there's some good defenses. Like, Miles Garrett is the main issue um, that I, I can't stand. So, as far as focus players, um, I'm happy with this draft. I'm going to wear, I'm gonna have McKinstry wearing 33. Okay, we got some mentorship. Dude, I, the thing I'm most excited for um, is the Traylon Burks... I think I just got to go getting open. The Traylon Burks, Racy McMath, D-Hop second year because we threw the ball really good um, that entire first year. And I really didn't feel like we got rewarded. That's awesome for Traylon Burks. That, that's going to be big time. I really didn't feel like I got rewarded enough.
from a development standpoint for that. So hopefully we start that we can kind of get some dividends on that. Okay, season goal. I feel like I got a superstar quarterback. Um, I have a young Racy McMath who had the coolest season ever. We drafted a tackle that I think is going to help. Um, we got Gidry who's going to help. We got better. Like To me, I think you got to say the Super Bowl. It's a Super Bowl or bust. And not to say a, or bust because this team still isn't from an actual like – if you really like were to look at us, we probably aren't the most – unreal team in the world but this is a big season for will levis he he proved year one that he's an mvp caliber player um that he can win on the biggest stage and that he's super 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 talented so we proved that we have nothing else to prove from that um standpoint i can get high point dead eye tight out which is i think what i'm going to use for him he's going to have superstar abilities at year one that's awesome caleb farley all he did that entire year was just get more dominant. He literally just said, I'm just going to get even better. Um, plus two awareness. He's a great number one DB. He's tall and he made plays. And now he has McKinstry who can play for him. McKinstry is the type, I want to put him on the left. I want to utilize his press ability. I want to utilize the fact that he has such good press stats and have that try and transfer into like, hopefully, 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 a superstar dev and just making him that much better. Racy McMath is another one. He's got a 4,000 XP bar now after his 14 touchdowns that he had last year. Um, and 93 speed, 90 acceleration. Like the guy is an absolute stud. So I feel confident in a lot of these players. Tajay Spears is going to continue to get touches. Derek Henry is getting a little bit older. Not to say that he's going to be done, but Spears I thought looked good in a lot of his carries last year. Like, I was genuinely impressed with him. Now, as far as depth chart, let's go do the depth chart and uh, discuss our plan here. So, Will Levis at quarterback. Derek Kennedy running back. I'm not going to do it for the whole thing. Um, Diop, Burks, and McMath. McMath is actually going to be the second, and Burks is going to be the third. McMath is just was so good last year. You got to give that guy the third. And I, I think he's got real crazy potential. Left tackle is going to be Dillard. Skaronski, we got our... Our guy there, Aaron Brewer at center. Dylan Radon's at right guard. And then at right tackle, I'm going to start the speedy Miles Hinton. Danico Autry, instead of having Danico out there, uh, we're going to go with the rookie, Chance Williams. And I'm going to – I got to get his likeness all right. Um, Jeffrey at right – oh, yeah. Jeffrey at right end, defensive tackle. This I'm cool with Arden Key, Monty Rice, all those guys. Now, DB, I'm putting – McKinstry there. Fulton. I don't know. If, I don't know who has the better hips. I don't know where to put all these guys. Like part of me thinks up top. I like kind of like a Gidry up top. So that way we don't get burnt very much through the middle. I always put that guy in a deep third. So that's kind of where I like him rather than that's I kind of brought him in as just like to be the fastest safety in the world. Uh, Amani there. Actually, Josh Thompson with Harold Landry. I like having like him as a true. And then Kool-Aid McKinstry instead of him in the slot. I think I want Farley in the slot this year. Guys, that's our official depth chart. Um, I can't wait to play this season. I, I genuinely can't. So it is what it is. Um we're going to go dominating offense. We're going to try and pass the ball like we have been. I want to get my receivers up. I want everyone up. And I want to go win a championship with my favorite team. So let's go. Oh, gosh. I was in the right defense. I got all out of whack. First play of the season. Timeout. KB. Should have been picked low key. The definitely should have been picked. Shoot. Okay, is he, who's who's number six on that left side? This is McKinstry's biggest test. He's gonna test him on the left side. Nope. Got him. A body hooker. Coming off a five pick season, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to say to everybody watching, to all the haters out there, we're back. The Titans are back year two, and we're gonna be even scarier. Let's just go up to him. Oh, he's gonna air it out right away. He waits 
Okay, it won't happen again. I literally, I wanted to start off the year with this wild. Yeah, I wanted to start off the year with a bang, with an egg, and just freak out and stuff. But oh, I ended up embarrassing myself. Dang. Okay, I got carried away. I wanted that first like boom play. I was gonna start punching air. Losing my mind did not work out that way. Got him. Welcome, Harold Landry. Have a year, Harold. Have a year, bud. Dude, how does he always have Xavier Worthy? Good throw, but that's wild. He's just throwing that. Like, there's no thought process in that. That ball is going to get thrown no matter what. Run commit all day. Good job, Caleb. Okay, make him earn this, man. Make him earn this. Dang. Uh oh, bud, you're boxed. Hey, Caleb. Caleb Farley. Have a season, Caleb. Get him to superstar GG's in the chat. Get him to superstar GG's in the chat. Oh, let's go. Okay, let's be smart now. Yep, there we go. Good job, Chagosium. Just relax. Couple bad reads. Is what it is. Just relax. There we go. Said he runs better. My ball. Yeah. Okay. Thank God. He runs better than people would think. Like I, sp I do scrambler upgrades because I, I find they do kind of the best in general. Come on, Derek. Have a good year, Derek. Good run, Derek. Tough yards. He was crazy in the playoffs. Yeah. Racy McMath. Trust. That's what this Titan system is all about. That is honestly what this Titan system is all about. Literally trust. I just throw stuff up. And I trust that my receivers are going to get it. Will Levis, great second drive of the season. 7-0, defense is looking fire. Overthrow? No. Just caught sleeping for one play, and Xavier Worthy burns me. Go Traylon. Go Trey. Is that that quick snap throws? Love that. Might I might try and egg him here. That's him. That kid is potentially D Hop too. We thought it would be Traylon. Then it went under the wing. McMath. D Hop has taken McMath under his wing. Oh my gosh. What a catch. Racy McMath up top, baby. That's two for him. One on one, as soon as I see it, I'm throwing it to him. Every single time I'm throwing it to him. Go, Will Levis. Go! Go! Oh my gosh! He almost broke the entire thing. Wow. He actually almost just went the entire way there. Adding a second element for the kid. Could he become an all-time TD Bear receiver? I think it's happening. Come here, Harold Landry, that's his second. Harold Landry, that's his second. Good job, man. Good job, Gidry. Come here. Go rookie. Welcome to Cashville, man. Welcome to Cashville. 
kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. Kool Aid McKinstry. McKinstry. Oh, that should have been McKinstry's. Thousand IQ plays. Thousand IQ. That should have been McKinstry. MVP. Soon to be two time. Bro, I'm just feeling different right now. This team is disgusting. KB. Racy McMath up top. GG's, pal. Okay, 43 to 7. Freaking A, dude. That was unreal. How did we not execute our plan? I threw for like. We get 1,000 XP. McMath had a crazy game. My face cam is dead, but I'll see you guys week two. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, week two, weekly. Do we have a weekly award? It better be freaking McMath. My favorite subject in school, Racy McMath. We got two. We got KB. We got both players of the week um, in that week. So that's super tough. Instead of Chance, I kind of want to go McMath just because he is still only 24. Um, and I feel like having him as a focus player is going to be crucial. He might actually have another upgrade because when you win player of the week, you get, um, when you win player of the week, Kool-Aid gets one upgrade. He, man, oh man, he is like one speed upgrade away from being cold. Boom! Let's go! Oh my gosh. Kool-Aid! Oh. My. Freaking. Gosh. That just made that pick so much better. That just made that pick so much better. Oh. My. Goodness. Kool-Aid. Okay. Guys, I was worried about that pick. I was 100% worried about that pick. Just because he was 89. I get first upgrade. Like this is some things are just meant to be. That was a steal. At that, that was a steal. Racy McMath, 71 upgrade, catching traffic, plus two deep route running. Uh, Malik Willis gets an upgrade. I gotta I'm gonna trade Malik. And honestly, we have our superstar. I should I should be looking to trade him. Yeah, I probably should. He's a good capable backup though. I don't really want to lose him, but I, I'd love to see him succeed on a different team because I just don't necessarily know if I see um, if I see it working here, because Will Levis has obviously just developed into literally the greatest quarterback I've ever had. So it's difficult to imagine a life with him. D-Hop, we got him back to X-Factor. He gets plus one speed, 91 speed. Bro, the things are looking up. Okay, week two, um, Texans week. Let's go. On second down, it's Stroud. KB. Dude, KB might just have his 30... Year old career year, three picks in two games. That looks like Brandon Cooks. That's a beam. Murphy Bunting maybe needs to be paid him too much to sit on the bench, but he just got absolutely torched. Oh, good play. I'm throwing that either way. Nice catch, D-Hop. Nice catch, D-Hop. Be great. Send eight. Be great. D-Hop. Up top. Good job, Trey. No, don't cheat Trey out of that. Game, no. That, I'm not gonna, I will not stand by as my guy gets cheated out of one of the nicer touchdowns I've ever seen. Do not cheat him out of that. Oh my. I'm racy is struggling this game. Oh my gosh. Ah. Good no one for it. I'm just mad. That's, well, not mad, but those are drops that they've been catching. Like, I thought Burks caught that. I thought the other guy, I thought both of them caught it, so. 
Ooh, I'm frustrated. KB, MVP. Nope. Dude, using my own plays. It'd be your own plays, man. It'd be your own plays. That's a better read. That's a better read. He's got to catch that one. Good job, McMath. Like I said, if people are going to disrespect us with defense that looks like this, when they're, when they're going to put their corner or their safeties down, no point running. You got to be able to attack. You got to be able to attack. And you got to have players who can make plays. And I, I believe we have them. MVP. Dot. Ah, day late and a dollar short on that. The second down throw now from Stroud. John Murphy bunting just as I dissed him. Just as I dissed him. Makes a play. Okay. I think he pass committed. I think he pass committed. That's why I ran. I was pretty sure he pass committed. Yeah, I'm on him. Dude's boxed up. Yo, this is a really a no-fly zone secondary right now. Feet. Dude, Will Levis. Dot. Take the three. Oh, my gosh. Pass lead high. Absolute laser right there. Okay, I believe I get ball in half. But I could be wrong. Hop. Double me. They go play action here on first down. D hop. Double them. Stop playing man with D hops activated. Dude, Sean Murphy bunting. He just tests him again. Dude, he's star dev. Oh, if he could go to superstar, bruh, I would, I'd scream, I think. GG's, dude. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, week three. This is when we find out a few major questions. Money will be spent. Money will be spent. Okay. Money will be spent. How... We didn't just trigger a breakout with Sean Murphy bunting. Makes me want to scream. But at the end of the day, um, I got a tandem. I got a mentorship with Racy and D-Hop. Okay, at the end of the day, I got to just focus on getting Racy McMath this 150. I'm going to try to get him 150 a pop just because I want him in the mentorship program. I want Racy McMath mentorship program all the way through learning from D-Hop, getting better with D-Hop. And I think that's honestly before D-Hop retires, if he does retire, I want to make sure that he, we have a, a, a new, like, stud uh, receiver. Another scrambler upgrade, um, plus one throw on the run um, for Will Levis. Shout out Will Levis, Arden Key, Kyle Phillips, and Peter Skaronski. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, week three, Saints week, let's go. Come here. Harold Landry. Harold Landry, 80 full speed. He's almost a 90 pass rush. I, there's so many guys I just want breakouts with. I want to scream. Yo, is that three? Is that... Dude, this is no fly zone. My man defense with the addition... Like, McKinstry has no stats. Do you want to know why? Because he's literally boxing people over there. Literally boxing people. 7-0. Ah, it's day one stuff. You got to watch the running back. 
carry now. This is Alvin Kamara. Good run. Shoot. I'm tempted to replace Josh Thompson, but I don't think I will. Come here. Harold Landry. Up top. Harold Landry. That's over his head. That's tough. Okay. 7-3, that's alright. I gotta get 150 with McMath. How do I feel about Lattimore? <laughs> How do I feel about Lattimore? Really don't care. I'm just don't, that's racing McMath. I don't care. Caleb Farley, well done. I always, here's good run defense. Um, how I sometimes stop stretch run players is I'll just blitz one. Because, so, like, if people pass out of stretch, my favorite defense against this is looks a little something like this. Just put an inside, outside third there with Gidry. That's why Gidry is so valuable because it's really hard to burn over the top. And I'm still sending my entire team at the eye. So it's like, he is going to be in trouble and he's not going to be able to throw. When people come on trip side, you have to think of the three things that they're looking for. They want to throw a crosser. Okay, they want to throw a corner. When they come out in this formation, you have to think of two things they want to do. They want to throw a corner. So I'm going to put Gidry in the middle. So he can't throw over the middle. I'm going to outside manually shade the tight end and outside manually shade number 10. That way. Oh, he got bumped. You see how he got bumped? That was a good read. Begged. Four down. Come on, McKinstry! Let that box! Wild defense on on D hop. Wild defense on D hop. You just can't. If you got, if you don't have three people on D hop, you got nobody on D hop. Swat, dude. Good play. Good play. That's a bean. Good throw, man. Titans hold the lead and they'll get the football first as the third quarter. Gets coordinator, which one is he going to pick in terms of kicks? Can the kicker execute it? Can the team wait for 10 yards? Mick. Math. Every time. Every time. First play. Every time. Strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up and they're still down double digits, so you feel like. Get there, McKinstry. Oh my gosh, could be his first pick. I love this kid. I, I think the world of this kid. That plus two we got with him, unreal. I truly think the world of him. Okay, so I got the tandem breakout, um, which was what I went into that game really wanting. And I just threw it to him. I gave the dude wings and told him to fly. Like, literally is exactly what I did. End zone twice, end zone plus three catch in traffic and release. I think that's going to help him. For a low overall guy like Racy, I think that'll actually help him a ton. This is his breakout year. This is his 24. Um, that gets him up to a 72 overall. I think he was a 70 before. So that helps. Uh, we'll see. Hopefully we can trigger a breakout. 3-0 so far. Love and love. Blaze out! Boom! I'm wearing a thumbnail shirt. You guys know this shirt is a thumbnail shirt. Guys, 40 breakouts on the screen. If my controller is going to be dead, oh, this is going to be a long day. I just literally need to... What's this? Yo, I thought Racy McMath was... <laughs> I'm trying not to freak out. I'm trying not to get mad. I'm trying not to freak out. I'm trying not to get mad, trying not to freak out, but I'm, I'm gonna get mad and I'm gonna freak out. Like, I'm, that's just kind of where I am. I'm, I'm gonna get mad, I'm going to freak out. I thought for sure that Racy McMath, after getting 150, that neck. But I think maybe the breakout continues if he gets three um, in a row. Racy McMath, I'm going to keep going. 
realistically, I should stop going deep threat and I should start going slot, work on the dude's hips and route running a little bit because that's going to be what's going to get him the decent abilities as we go. I think that's going to be important. QB1 check-ins are always important. Um, and we have one here. So hopefully, 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 I'm not trying to jinx anything. Hopefully, 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 Will Levis can get this and potentially trigger a breakout. We're going for 300 yards. Let's go. Good defense. Oh, gosh. Who is that? San oh, that's Miles Sanders. Miles Sanders is a problem in this game. Right, your user, man. Your user can't be on vacation. Your user can't be on vacation when work's going on. Nope. No, 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 no. He's got to be short. Third and one. Third and inches. Okay, these are the opportunities you have in games. You take this is where you take risks. You try and shoot a gap. You play a little more aggressive than you might usually play, with the with the hopes of getting that lucky shed something on the D line. Oh, good play, Kool Aid. Conway, he's got to make the first move. You got to make him make that first move. Your box kid, throw it away, David. Throw it away on fourth down. Throw it away. Thank you. Let's go. Traylon. Nice catch, Trey. Don't fumble. Okay, he's trying to get that ball from us. He's trying to get that ball from us. Okay, we got to be extra careful here. Tregosium. Dude, why is the game playing slow? Yo! Will, in big games, man. The reason I'm passing so much is because I want that. I want to get that 300 yards for Will Levis. He's just he's got to make those throws. He's missed two to Chigos or to Racy McMath, and he's, he's giving me that look. There we go, D Hop. Nice catch, D Hop. There it is. There it is. Racy McMath, step up and make a throw. We do this. We do this. Will Levis is my quarterback. 7-0. Kool-Aid. Look at Kool-Aid in the chemistry. That's a drag route that he just one yard. You get one yard on a drag route. What a first round pick. What a fall in the, honestly, what a fall in the draft that just benefited me so much. Like, to me, that, that was everything. The fact that he fell like he did was shocking. That's a bean. Good throw, man. Yeah, third down. If you're if you're scared, just say so, David. If you're scared, just say. You don't gotta throw it away. You can just say so. Kool Aid. Oh, what? Oh. Racing McMath, don't do it! Honestly, all I care about to end this Madden is that Racing McMath becomes the next guy in the league. The best receiver in the NFL. That's quite honestly all I care about. Those are tough routes to guard. Off the play fake, Young. That's caught, and again it's Goodwin. Young working out of the gun. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panther. Karuma and that really crests the issue. D hop, D hop. Spike, 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 spike. Do I go up to Racy? Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. And this is what here in complete they say. Brandon McManus make the kick. We do get ball at half, so we'd be plus ten getting ball, and I'm close to the three hundred yard mark with Levis. 
So that's part of the reason I'm somewhat content taking three here. McManus has a pretty big leg. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. I'm done by you. Good job, Racy. So, I need 300 with Will Levis to hit that game day goal. Now, shout out to 8 Miles on YouTube. He is the reason why I'm throwing like crazy right now. Because he has said that if you hit that, you will get a bunch of QB breakouts throughout the year. There's, he said that there's something connected to that that triggers QB breakouts. So, whether or not it's true, I don't know. But I want 300 yards. Look at, look at Will Levis. That's my quarterback, man. That's my quarterback. Good job, Chagosium. Yep. Another one. Why not? We do this, man. This is my team. This is my franchise. This is my life. Let's go. Amani. Amani. Good user, David. Okay, that should have been picked. That was an absolute book. Look at Lev. It's just so dialed, man. So dialed. 13 more yards and I get the 300 required, um, which I'm hoping is going to help us. Yeah, there it is. Okay, that's 300 for Levis. He's got it. Will Levis. Bang! Bye! Let's go. GG's, fellas. GG's. Okay, so we have an offensive breakout here. Um... That's crazy. That's crazy. That's going to help. Especially in the rematch that's about to happen right now. That's going to help a ton. And we get the QB break. I'm almost certain I got 300. Bro, what? I want real freaking breakouts. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Honestly, this whole franchise has been plagued by a lack of actual breakouts causing me to be very upset. Okay, guys, if you if you know, you know. This is a, this is a rematch of the game that we lost. The game that, very frustratingly, we gave up in the playoffs. I'm still kind of mad about it. We had an opportunity at the end, I feel like, to potentially win, and I, I, I sold, dude. I absolutely sold. So, at the end of the day, it is what it is. You crash and you burn, you live and you learn. You, you gotta just, you gotta use these things, not necessarily you got to use these things to get better. And I think that's where that's where I need to get better in general is just realizing like, you know what? I did lose to that dude, but he'll never beat me again. And I'm going into this game with the mindset this dude is going to have to cross oh, my voice just stopped. Cross his little fingers. Oh, he's got plus one with chance Williams. Oh, he's he's getting dangerous. 88 speed 89 acceleration that he beats me. Lock in like Stockton, win the game. Let's go. Caleb Farley. Caleb Farley. Go home. Told you guys, I don't get mad, I get even. I don't get mad, I get even. I just do this. I just do this. Race McMath up top. 7 0, let's go. Kool Aid. Oh, that's a tough matchup for him. It's a tough matchup for him. I'll own it. Nope. Second and long. He's going to have to throw. He's going to be looking for those short corners. It's going to come down to Kool-Aid. Honestly, I kid you not. Kool-Aid's going to have to make a play against him. Because he, I promise you right now... He's going to be looking for Cooper here. He doesn't have a second superstar receiver. This is Cooper versus Kool-Aid. 
Best on best. Let's see who wins. Dude's in a bit of a place. Pierre. Art. I know exactly what I'm going to use to defend. Bunting, that's so trash. Let's catch, Racy. Go, Derek. Go, Derek. Good run, Derek. Gotta get him going, bro. That's that's a big part of this team. And this bunch tight end run is actually kind of fire. I, I've kind of grown a little bit fond of it. Just moving to this. The blocking is really good in that. Compared to the quick base, I find this gets blocked a little better. Traylon. Good job, Trey. He should take timeouts. Like I said, we do get ball at half. So I'm gonna be intelligent here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna start taking a little bit of this time. That's kind of where my head's at. Just take a little bit of time, force him to use some of these timeouts. Even if I get three, I'm in a good, I'm in pretty good standing. I didn't think he'd play it. I didn't think he'd play it. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't think he'd play it. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I'm just gonna like, I haven't really been better than him this game, so I'm gonna try and fool him. Audible down, two tight end look. And just streak somebody. That's kind of, that's kind of how I'm feeling right now. Like just, I gotta fool him a little bit. Got him. Racy! Uh, I'll take three, I guess. I don't know why that's my only read in the red zone. Like, I gotta just, I gotta check myself a little bit. Sometimes at the door, you gotta just check yourself and be like, yeah, you, you suck. I just, I got a question for you, dude. Where are you going? Like, yeah, you can answer. I'm I'm looking for legitimate answers. Where are you going right now? Because it's nowhere fast. I promise you, it's nowhere fast. Now back to throw. Oh, that was a really good decision. He's got to be short though. Watson looks to throw again. He is short. That's gonna bring up a four. Nope. It's fourth. You gotta take this, doesn't he? Yeah. Okay, money drive on me, money drive on three. Derek, get us in field goal range, please. Beam City. Beam City, good throw. Absolutely love that read. And Chagosium, I think, gets it. Third inches. Will Levis, that's my quarterback. Call my quarterback. 1 800 stud. Good job, Will Levis. He's only got one timeout left. Okay, we're going to have a Brandon McManus kick. We're going to have a Brandon McManus kick, is how this is what this is going to come down to. I'm just going to keep trying to get closer. He's going to save the timeout. Hey, wasn't my prettiest game. Stat-wise, it was an ugly game. 
What did we do? Our defense showed out and we got the win. Our defense showed out. I got to figure out a way to comfortably block Miles Garrett. It's a lot of my problem. It's a lack of ability to block Miles Garrett right now that's causing me the most grief. But Dillard gets an upgrade. We're undefeated, baby. And that's all I got to say. We are undefeated. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we did not have the Colts user, who was 4-1, um, had to leave. Delhi had to leave. So we got the win. Stat-wise, I hate when this happens. Mostly just because you sometimes, your stats kind of suck in those games. Luckily, it wasn't like, I've had force wins where I've gotten three picks. And I've just wanted to, like, scream. Like, seriously. Like, I've, I've had that. So far this year, I think there's, like, a good amount of people who deserve consideration for breakouts. Landry, Thompson, and Tart, all of them. And then Hooker, Byard, Her Hooker, Bunting, and Farley all deserve breakouts. None of them have them. So, um... We got the Bengals here, the 4-2 and two Ernest Bengals um, with Joe Burr. And this is a big-time game. This is when we got to lock in. This is when we got to be great. We got to be smart. I want to go undefeated this season. I don't want to lose. I'm feeling really good on the game right now. So I just want to keep up that momentum, keep up that swagger that we've been playing with, going into these games with just knowing, like, hey, I'm not going to lose. That that just that makes a big difference. Um, 80 Scrambler, does that get me fast break? No, it doesn't, but... We're working on the Will Levis. The Will, the Will Levis progression is beautiful, and it, but he's not upgrading as fast as I would like, and I would love nothing more than to see a dude with a breakout. Like, nothing would give me more joy than that. Um, I'm going to start going playmaker with Racy, hoping that it kind of just helps. Like, there's plus two short route. I just want help with his slot abilities. Like, the dude's never going to have short end. At, at this rate, he'll never have short end in his life. So... Week seven, Bengals week, let's go. They go play action here on first down. Being chased out left. That looks open. That looks open. How's he playing McMath? That's kind of my question right now. Is how is he? What's his McMath game plan? And does he know about McMath? Yeah, we're we're gonna run. If he's giving me this look, I need him to I need you to pinch that line, friend. So that I can throw the ball, please. I'm going to need you to pinch that line a little bit. Because if you don't, I'm not overly comfortable passing because he's just pass committing. So I'm just waiting for him to pinch his line. And then hopefully we can go up top. Racy McMath! My favorite subject in school. McMath! Too quick of a read. Come here, come here. Good job, Harold. Give me those. Go, KB. Go, KB. There we go. Down to the one. Yeah, I'll take three. I can't let that be a wasted possession. Sadly, I can't. Oh, that's a great pick. Good start on defense. I just can't let this be wasted. You gotta take my points. Dang. I think I messed up an adjustment. I don't even think he was covered. McKinstry, man, like those. Not that he has to play that, but I, that could have been picked, I think. Shoot. Dude, how many times has Chagosian bailed us out with broken tackles? I don't care if he never devs up. I don't care if he's a bronze dev forever. Dude has paid his way on this team. It's first. Dot will Levis could throw. Back to throw again. Oh wow! Oh, let me tell you, he's hurting. I promise you, he's hurting. Shoot! 
2.02, so they'll get one play before the two-minute warning. Again, he'll drop to throw. That's there it is. That's big. Especially because we get a ball at half. I think that's big. Touchdown, D. Hopkins. Could have tried to kill Clock there. He had three timeouts. At the end of the day, he stopped. I think about these things. Like, in a situation like that, I'm thinking all... This is all I'm thinking about. Last time in the red zone, he stopped me. So, I'm like... If I get stopped again, he does get ball at half. I'm better off taking the touchdown rather than trying to be too cute with it. My opinion. You can disagree. It's my opinion. Oh, he he threw it though, Brett. You gotta trust, trust your instincts. Dang, good read, good read, good throw, good play. All three of those things. Good read, good throw, good play. Good kick, man. Good kick. Maybe, maybe the second best story of the franchise. I think that's a box. I don't. Good stop by him. Sent DJ Turner off the edge. Couldn't get to him. Good stop. They will throw on first down with Burrow. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. Touch on your ball club to try to pick themselves back up. Rolling to his left. Of him. Good dot. Oof. Game on the line. Money on the line. Season on the line. Money on my mind. Let's go. There it is. The hook up on the right side to Hopkins. Finish it with six instead of three. Traylon. Good job, Traylon. Traylon just beat him. Simple as that. Traylon just beat him off the line. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, how long does he have? Tied up. Five minutes to play. You know what? We got a chance to win this now. Jamar just doesn't care about me or my feelings or nothing. Jamar gives no cares about us. Marvin Harrison, Jamar Chase, kind of no joke. That's kind of a duo. Who is that guy? There it is. Okay, we're making this the last possession, 100%. Pocket, that's pocket. Don't no timeouts. Let's make this the last. Do we want to, What's our thoughts on OT versus going for two? Back to throw. And brought in downfield by Burks. And able to get him down. Okay, taking my timeout. Holy moly. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over four. Oh, do I go for two? Mm. If I score, obviously I have to score first. Give me those. Give me those. Is he quitting? GG's aren't. He has a little, a little bit of right to him. A little mad. Hey, undefeated. We're undefeated, baby. Undefeated. 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 Let's go.
Okay, see you guys week eight. Everybody stay calm. Stay calm. Stay calm. Stay calm. Stay calm. Don't. Stay calm. Stay calm. Stay incredibly still. Don't move. Guys, we got a breakout quarterback. And my camera just died during the intro to this. Uh, breakout quarterback against a guy who I know is a good player. This guy, this guy can play. Um, he's made it pretty far in these leagues. All I want to talk about is the breakout, man. If I could get him to X-Factor, Will Levis X-Factor year two, dude, the sky's the freaking limit. I could That would help him out a ton XP-wise. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's do it. Good job, Gidry. Okay, I need four touchdowns. Let's go. Oh, God. Dude, why am I the way I am? D-hop, I love you, man. That's AJ. That's a tired D-hop. Just muscled through. An exhausted D hop just muscled through and won the battle there. Holy, well done. Let's see if he run commits. That's what I wanted. Let's go, McMath. Down to the one. It's one, guys. I need four total. Four touchdowns, Will Levis is an X Factor. Just need four. Gidry. Yo, good hit by it at the end. I respect that. That's just mean at the end, though. But good hit. Good job, Gidry. Okay. Touchdown here, guys. We got two. We got it. This is an opportunity so far. I... I don't want to jinx it, but this is actually looking somewhat promising. Holy D hop just got hit. What a dot. The guy who wants to be X Factor. That is a guy who wants to be X Factor. Will Levis, love that. Okay, Racy, that's two. Two for Will. Got him. Get to the one, Farley. Get, okay, two more, <laughs> guys, I boxed this dude up, so this is not a horrible matchup for the, shoot, I gotta go for this, I have to go for this just because, I, just because of the breakout more than anything, I, Racy, make a catch, man, Oh, I needed that. I needed that really bad. Here we go on second and twelve. He finds his man complete. That's Rhodes. Pass the twenty. Touchdown, Falcon. Here, guess what? He's gonna make the trick to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. That's complete to Traylon Burks. Good job, Burks. And that's the only guy I can trust right now. Get this breakout, man. Get this money. Bro. 
Are you guys seeing what just happened to me twice? I might have to go for the win over the breakout. Unfortunately. As much as I don't want to even admit to do that, I don't know. I'm a little upset. It's just going to come down to McMath. Dude, that's a guy who just loves his QB. That's a guy who loves that guy. And mm, I want him to be an X Factor. That was so needed, it's not even funny. A freaking floater. 21-7. You gotta hold it because everyone on his team has knockout abilities. Run the ball, Brett. Run the ball and then get the Levis. Just no picks. No picks. X Factor me. At the one, though. Oh my. Okay, guys. Will Levis scores here? You're officially looking at an X Factor quarterback. One yard away from being an X Factor. Oh my gosh. One yard away from being an X Factor. Ladies and gentlemen, meet your new X Factor, Will Levis. Job McKinstry. Back to throw again. This is intercepted. They get word for the third time. GG's fam. GG's. Okay, guys. Don't freak out. Everyone, don't freak out. 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 It's it, coach. Is it nice? It's it's so nice having a quarterback like Will Levis. It's just so nice. Had to had to get that one for the chat. We always said it in our breakouts, guys. Officially, Will Levis is a superstar X factor. Call his XP goes down to five thousand. He gets a third ability. Honestly. This is everything. This is our quarterback. This is our prototype QB. Dude's a stud. I don't even know what else to say. I just can't wait. I honestly cannot. I'm going to put bazooka on him. I'm going to let him throw dots. Now that the XP bar is 5,000, he's going to upgrade so much faster. We did it. We took Will Levis from bronze to X Factor in about a season and seven weeks. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, week 10. So we had a fourth win. And then last week, we did have a break. I have a chance. So I have another chance this week. If I can hold them to under 200 yards, Gidry will get a breakout, um, which is awesome. That would be, like I said, that's part of the reason I have him here. Part of the reason I signed him, paid him a bunch of money was for the, that reason. We got the fourth win against the Raiders. What's the three touchdowns? Oh, my gosh. Dude, if Harold Landry doesn't get an upgrade soon, I'm going to, like, actually lose my mind. I think he's the NFL sack leader, and dude's just... Oh, the game hates him. The game just hates him. Like, there's no logical reason that you can give me of why Harold Landry, leading the league in sacks, with his age, everything, all the other factors, that he should not at least have an opportunity to get a superstar to have. I just don't think you have an argument. I really don't. Because to me, when you got last year, he had... Like, 10 last year, too. Like, he had a crazy year last year. So that's two years in a row of really, really, really good production. And he's the type of player in this game that is young, that can continue to get better. Like, it's just, ugh, it frustrates me, and I want to I want to get upset. But I'm not going to get upset. But I want to. I'm considering it. I'm, in, I'm on, like, the edge of getting upset. I'm like, ugh. Uh, we are 9-0, so I can't be too upset. I just said upset way, way too many times. Um, I'm going to have an upgrade with Will Levis, which is awesome. 
Who do I want to be my focus, guys? Let's go Caleb and Trey. Traylon's probably going to have a career where potentially he might get replaced. It's just kind of on that trajectory, and I love him, and he made a huge... But I don't want to replace him. That's the that's the other thing that bugs me. I, like, I have no intention of replacing him. So it's like, that's that's not where I want to go with this. That's in no way the trajectory that I want for him is to have to replace him. But it's just like, he has not upgraded, and he's only 89 speed. So you have to look at it from a logical standpoint and say, huh, okay, maybe, just maybe... Look at Will Levis. Already almost has his next upgrade. Traylon Burst gets an upgrade to his playmaker, which is awesome. Um, he's going to go up to a 79. Plus one spin move. Kool-Aid McKinstry gets an upgrade. Plus one slot. He's been good. I, I don't think he's going to get an upgrade or a break on anytime soon, but he's been solid. Um, and then Gidry and Chance. Okay, week 10. Texans week. Let's go. They'll start on the ground with Pierce. Good run, man. Okay, so the goal is under 200 yards passing. Um, Gidry gets to go up to start out. So, as long as I get that, we're going to be fine. Dude ran the route. That's, more, that's why I paid him. Definitely there was some question of why I paid him. That is why I paid him. I love this quarterback, dude. I love this quarterback. Good job, Will. Back shoulder fade. Oh, he caught it too. What's wild is he did catch that. I'm really in a tough spot here. I don't think he can guard Racy McMath. Part of me just wants to go up to Racy. Yeah. Okay, that, this could be a safety. Oh, good throw, Levis. That's a little bit cheated. Gidry! Gidry! Oh, he had it! He had it, he dropped it. This guy loves that defense. How do I He just puts his safeties down and it's driving me a little bit crazy, but you gotta just throw lasers like that. Like it's got it against something like this, it's gonna be those tight throws. And it's not ideal, obviously, but it's going to be a lot of these like if he's running zone, like these wait a bit beams in between the zone are gonna be what's gonna get me points. I just don't want to give him any time with the ball, and if I get to the two, I do get ball at half. It's still a three-point game, so I'm just going to run, and I'm going to go for it. I'm going to run and go for it is what I think is the best thing because I get ball at half. As much as it may not be, this is what I think is the best thing to do. Said so this way, even if I don't get it, I think I still have a pretty good chance to win the game. You know, things are just collapsing. Yeah, I can't score in the red zone. At least it goes to half when we get ball back. It's the only reason you go for that. If I take three or... <sighs> Thank you. Honestly, he's, he's dropping so many people in coverage. I need that. Oh, 
drop to throw it. Going right back to DeAndre Hopkins. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Back to throw now. I got double me on him. No, sir. Fourth down. Give me the ball back. Give Will a chance. Okay, we're getting it back. Good job. Slow, steady, find a way. I'll take three. I know I've been so stubborn all game, and stubbornness is not a is not my best trait. So Chagosium, I'll never. We don't deserve you, Chagosium. We just don't. We'll never deserve you. Come here, Harold Landry again. Got him. Dude's got like five sacks in two weeks. Had that been thrown on target, I think that was a pick six. But him and the Vert have just a guard up for a minute. I respect what he did. Because I did that. I did that in Texans franchise. I respect what he did. Okay, so three to tie, seven to win. I might have McMath. I think I got McMath. That's Jimmy Ward. Jimmy, you don't get an award for showing up, bud. You don't get an award for showing up. Now he takes his timeout. Okay, we can tie this for sure, but we should have a dot here. We should. No excuse to not. Fine, just score. Make him go get seven. I... Part of me was like, let's clock, but like he's got to drive the entire field. Um, and I didn't even think he looked that comfortable last drive. So just take your two dots, smile and wait. Dude. Oh my. Come here. It's Who else? Who else would it be? Harold Landry. GG's, man. And we get the Gidry Star breakout. GG's in the chat, fellas. Guys, the cookie is crumbling. The co Brace, load the guns. Pirates of the Caribbean reference. Oh my, I didn't read it. I didn't read it. I did not read it, even a little bit. I did not read that at all. Oh, I don't even know what I need. Okay, that was an L. That was an L, that was an L, that was an L. Okay. Two sacks or something? I I don't know. I'm watching it back kind of in uh, in reverse here. Hopefully you guys can still hear me so I can actually see what this is. While I do my Will Levis upgrade, I'm trying to see what I need. I skipped it so fast. Under 200 yards or... Two TFL. Okay, so under 200 yards is a thing for this Harold Landry breakout, which tells me one thing. I am going to play super weird. Super weird. Super, super weird um, to do it. Honestly, it's, it's a huge breakout. I think he's a speed rush. 85 speed rusher. His upgrade thing has gone up a little bit. He's a little bit old, but he has 13 sacks already this season. Um... And it would just be huge. I will I'm gonna play super weird. Will Levis, I believe, if the season ended right now, would be a back-to-back -back MVP, but who's counting?
Maybe me. Maybe I'm counting a little bit. Who's second for MVP? Hendon. Oh, shout out to TSAP. Good for TSAP. Okay, Racy's got a thousand. D Hop. <sighs> Bills week, man. This is a tough out. Tough out. Let's go. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. He's got a man complete. And all the way home for That's not good. It's not good. Here's a play fake as they set up the throw. Up top. Good job, Chagosium. Dude's just different. Heidi's freaking out. Everyone's freaking out. That's good defense. Dude, I don't know. I don't know what Heidi sees, but she's. I'm telling you, she saw something. She promises she saw something. Burks and Nobles, man. Burks and Nobles. What the heck was that? Okay, give me three. I was trying to test his user. Farley! With 97 speed for nothing! Oh, man. No, that's four. He might take three, which is okay. Yeah, that's fine. Him getting three here, I get ball at half. I get seven, I get seven, I'm plus seven. Yeah, that was good. Such a beam. Lightning beam. Oh, I almost got instant. Yeah, that was almost bad. That was almost bad. Okay. Relax, Will Levis. I love that about Will Levis. He's not afraid to celebrate, but a bit too much. Give me a timeout at least. Uh, I can't get all three, but I can, I can at least take two. Okay, 52 one time out, it's better. Good job, Will Levis. That's just a clean read option. Gotta love that. Nobody, Caleb Farley getting absolutely torched. Come on, please. Landry! The kid. Ladies and gentlemen, you're looking at a future superstar, Harold Landry from your Tennessee Titans. Yeah. Bad decisions, Kobe. Bad decisions need to late nights. Talk on the phone. Oh, is he pausing? He's got to be mad. That was, that was a rage pause, if I've ever seen a rage pause. You know what that says? It says double me. You know how many people you had on him? Not enough. You didn't have enough. Just not enough. Racy Mick Math. Amani. GG's, man. Boom! Big time Bills win. It's a big time Bills win. GG's, man. GG's. Show goes on. I think I got the Landry breakout. I'm almost certain. That was a big... I, I struggled. And then I didn't. I was struggling. And then I just didn't. Then I decided, you know what? No. I don't struggle. I'm him.
Here we go. Harold Landry, guys, the things are starting to shape up. Things are starting to shape up in the city of Music City. Not how that's, I don't know if that was, that was kind of the city of Music City. Don't quote me on that one. Things are starting to look up, Buttercup. Okay, we got no outsiders now, some instant rebate, oof. Instant rebate, 11,000 XP bar. Ladies and gentlemen, Harold Landry is officially a superstar. Okay, I don't think I have an opponent in week 13. I don't know if I have an opponent in week 14. You guys might not see me until week 15, but we're 11 and 0, we're killing it, loving life. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, boom, we are in week 15. This is, uh, I'm 13 and 0. Uh, we had two. This is what bugs me about force wins a little bit. A little bit. It is late in Madden. I can't be weird. But in the two force wins, I had two interceptions and three or two touchdowns and three picks. And in this game, I had three touchdowns and two picks. It's like, why does Will Levis suck in force wins? It's just, it makes me want to get mad. It really does. Um, I'm not going to get mad. But like, to have an MVP season and then in games where I'm literally forced to get the win. At least don't throw picks. Like, I'm having a really cool season. I'm trying... Just don't throw 14 picks, and I won't be so mad. I'm just so mad now. Um, Harold Landry gets an upgrade. He's going to go to an 86 overall. I don't know what I need for under pressure. we got to be close to that. I'm guessing it's one of those power rushers things, getting up a little bit, and then um, that'll be our under pressure thing. Now, as we go here, so Will Levis... Has progressed quite well. That actually was a big upgrade. Um, he now can get inside dead eye. Oh, I want to go instead of this. I want to go conductor, high point dead eye, and let's go. Uh, let's go red zone dead eye. Maybe yeah. I I, I like those. Um, th those those are all good abilities to put on him. Abilities that we're gonna find useful. And Will Levis is not that far away. I. Probably not by this playoffs, but maybe by the next playoffs. Um, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we can make it happen. Caleb Farley gets an upgrade. Plus one press, plus one tackling. Oh, cool aid McKinstry. Okay, let's see. What is he? He already got his plus two speed, so he's probably never going to get another speed upgrade. He's just been tough. I, I Honestly, I just think he's been really tough this season. In every way, like there hasn't been a moment where I felt like he's gotten beat. There hasn't been a moment where I felt like he's struggling. Like I'm like, you know what? This, this guy is super legit. Chance Williams is another guy who's been really good. Racy McMath, I don't have to talk about. You guys know about Racy McMath. Um, biggest fear for him, which I've mentioned many times, is just where if I ever get him. Oh my gosh. If I ever get him superstar, like. How far am I going to be away from decent abilities? That's my biggest fear with that kid. Because he is really good. Don't get me wrong. He's, he's a solid player. Malik Willis, I'm going to trade. He doesn't deserve this. Malik Willis is going to be traded in the offseason. I think someone will give him something. He's 24 years old, 94 throw power, and 90 speed. I will have interest. I promise you. Um, big game against the Jags. We should have the division unless we start losing. Jags are 11-2. Let's go. Good job, Spears. Good, good fight by Spears. My gosh. D Hop keeps his feet better than almost anyone I've ever used that route for. Just always keeps his feet. Cisco at the disco. Cisco at the disco almost lurked my face. Oh goodness, he almost lurked us. Will Levis to throw again on second down. Lawrence, ETM bringing in another one. Good job, McKinstry. Forty now for first and ten. Got him. It's wild as he thinks that's covered. I knew they I knew his user wouldn't pick it. I just couldn't account for that. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. Man open, that's Calvin Ridley. On 
Oh no. The defense. Yeah, that's the rookie chance, but he's been good. Honestly, I haven't noticed him like a crazy amount, but I I, I like him. I, I think he's been solid for us. He's clocking me, but I actually think that helps me. As crazy as that sounds, I think it helps me. That chance again. What's crazy is he could have a bad season, get three sacks, and get a breakout. I'm just saying it. And his kick is indeed together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first. There it is. That's the D hop throw we're looking for. Good read. Here's a play fake as they set up the throw. He's going to go for a big play downfield. Sit. Take his timeouts. Take his timeouts. At least let's let's take one. At least. Racy McMath, love it. Barley, yup. Go to Gidry. Racy Mick. Math, let's go. Okay, so that game, Heidi's losing her mind. Um, <laughs> we're we're down for our stats suck now because of those force wins. Oh, that frustrates me, dude. I'm gonna break. I don't want to jinx it. I'm gonna break the sack record with Harold Landry. I don't want to completely jinx it, but seven for Imani, five for. Far I would love a break out of that. We'll see you guys week 16. Dude, this is too good right now. This is too good. Bro. Brr, wowzers. These are the easiest breakouts to get. I literally told you guys that last game. I'm like, Chance Williams got two sacks. If I hold them to 75 rushing yards and one touchdown, I get Chance Williams two interceptions. All I have to do is hold them to under 75 yards. They're the easiest breakouts to get of the D-line ones because no one in this game likes to run. Literally, everyone hates running. So... I'm going to stack the box, make sure that I, like, let him pass, worst case. I pretty much have the one seed completely locked up at this point. So, I'm not overly pressed in terms of that. Like, the one seed is, there's a very good chance that we're going to be the number one seed, if I'm just calling it kind of how it is. Um, so, I'm not really wanting to, I want to, get, like, dude, I told you, literally with those rookies, those rookie, like, Guys, if you have one good game with them, you could really change things. Like Chance with Williams, he's got three sacks on the season. I have a chance to have a six foot four, two hundred and sixty pound, eighty eight speed, eighty nine acceleration, superstar defensive lineman. The future is bright for the Titans. Fourteen and over ten and four. Let's go. It's a bean. You can't shoot. That's not like him. It's not really like him. Shoot. That's 15. He can't get 50 more. Oh, I'm... Do I clock? Yeah, I do. I feel like I run clock and try and... Shorten this game so he doesn't get those run yards or try and go way ahead so he doesn't run. Ugh, I don't like that. I need, dude, that chance William breakout is everything. So as easy as they come, that's about as easy of a read as there is. The play 
Racy McMath, favorite subject in school. Mick Math. He probably will become a superstar in the offseason. That's that's what's gonna be crazy about this team. We're young, we're talented, and we're stupid good. Give me those. Good job, Sean. That, I couldn't see the indicator because I, I can't see it, but solid enough to that was a pick. Okay, now he might get a little bit of a run clock treatment because I'm trying to get that chance William to break out. Or if he's going to keep playing McMath like that, I might just keep going up. Dang, good pressure, man. I don't even know what that was. Burks. Burks, you gotta just like catch him, man. I'm trying. That that's a I knew what coverage I was getting. I knew he was gonna be manned up. And I felt like I needed to take advantage of the fact that he was gonna be manned up. Chance Williams. He missed him. He missed him. Chance got to him, but he missed him. Favorite subject in school, baby. You already know it's McMath. About as easy as they come. Beam, let's go. Okay. 14 up. Yep, D hop. Sit. That's a first. There we go. D hop. Good job, Henry. So what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to get that breakout with Chance Williams. So essentially, I'm just doing honestly something that I think is smart either way. I'm taking the clock down. I wouldn't normally do this just because it's kind of lame. But I'm taking the clock down because I want to make sure he gets one possession and that he mathematically cannot get more than 75 rushing yards because – Chance Williams becoming a superstar at this stage of the season with the one seed locked, everything locked. For the future of this team and franchise, Chance Williams getting the superstar is, is more important, I think. And that's okay. We'll take three and we'll play defense. Dang, that actually may have been stupid. Oh, that might have been stupid. I should have. I don't know if that was dumb or not. I think it may have been dumb. He won't run here, I don't think. That's so good. You just earned Chance Williams a superstar, Caleb. Dude, if he gets an upgrade in the offseason, literally hide. People will need to hide from this team. Yeah, I gotta go for this, actually. I can't kick this. I thought I had this. I thought he was done. I'm gonna call a timeout. Let D-Hop get his legs back. I might just throw a confidence play. Just If I know he's going spin class against me, I might just throw a fade to McMath. Let him be the GOAT. No, he, no, he caught that. Oh, I knew what I was getting. I took the risk. Presented. Gidry, you gotta be better than that, Gidry. Let's call a timeout. Because he can't really call a timeout. Oh, I may have lost that one, guys. I thought I had that game won. I truthfully thought I had this game won. I may have just lost it. 
I'll use my timeouts because I don't want him to be able to take the Because I hope, for his sake, that he just runs the ball. Nope. See? Him killing the clock. He's still giving me 38 seconds. This is what I think was dumb. And I'll say this, but not in like a how I would play. And he still might win the game. So I'm not going to talk too much. But to me, you just pass either way. Because if you get a touchdown, you're plus four. If you're only plus three of the touchdown, you need to be content giving me. He's going for it. He sends it. Dude doesn't care. You got to at least be a little bit content giving me the ball back with 45 seconds when you just stopped me twice in a row. Up four. So why are you running, trying to kill clock on this game, when there is no reason to? Get lurked, kid. That ain't gonna do it. Sorry, man. That's just not gonna do it. GG's, man. I would have taken three, but I would have been honestly the only place that I think he totally messed up. I think he needed to be more aggressive earlier. And I hope you watch this because there's. You're not going up by three. And if you're playing for OT, it's fine. But, like, don't run the ball and put yourself in a third and 11 for no reason. It's hold them to under 75 yards. I'll have to look into this. One sec. I thought it was under 75 yards. I'm going to relook at that. Okay, guys. Good job, Brett. You... Literally forgot to sign people. <laughs> Feeling real stupid. This one I want to wait on because he's 31. D Hop, thanks for being so sick. Oh gosh, Brett, what are you doing? Oh no, okay. I have made a severe and untimely mistake. Oh, okay. D, we'll talk about that one. Okay, Ravens week. Um, guys, I just, just want to say, can we celebrate real quick? We have clinched the number one seed in the league with a 15-0 undefeated season. Um, we've been dominant defensively. We have the number one defense in the league. Um, everything's going well. Will Levis is on track to win his second MVP in a row. And I'm doing exactly what I said I would do with my favorite team. I, I promised you guys my favorite. Oh. TSAP, get your sweaty paws. Oh, my God. I honestly blame those two force wins with the three. Oh, that's okay. I just got to throw some, throw some stuff in these last couple games. I haven't been throwing the ball as much, if I'm being honest. I've been just trying to win, so... Like, not as to just trying to win, but like, ugh, I should have played those a little better. Dang. Okay, we got a chance to end the Ravens season, which is a good thing, because I don't want to see the Ravens in the playoffs. Um, yeah, Lamar, you just have a lot of weapons on this team that are just not people that I at all want to see. When the, when the game's on the line, when the money's on the line, when the money's on the mind, these are not people that I want to see, and they're not people that I want to deal with. So, at the end of the day... I just have to find a way to win this game. Now, I don't know why it's just... With Racy, it's so weird because... Oh my gosh, he just got plus one speed. He's 94 speed. Yeah, dude, dude's gross. Dude's absolutely gross right now. I got nothing else to say. He's unreal. Week 17, let's go. Good job, Harold. How many for him this season now? He's, he's got to be close to 20. Sean Murphy. Second and six. Oh, my dude. What in the user was that? Nobody, literally nobody. Micah. I'm him right now. This is my season. I don't know, man. I know the playoffs isn't going to be easy, but it's going to take a lot to beat me right now. It's going to take a lot. Hey, good job, Landry. 
Am I losing it or what? They're gonna look to throw. McMath just had one of those seasons. Just one of those seasons, it was a movie. It was a movie start to finish. Back to throw. Dobbins. Dude just ran. Dude literally just ran Philly special. He's short. Flip it. Yeah. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he's got his big tight end here. And all the way. They'll look to throw. Tregosium. Good throw, Will Levis. Got bazooka. I got bazooka. These people have no idea how to cover anything. No idea. GG's. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say I got three words. Dead controller. Oh, freaking A. Forgot to charge it. Get Brett a longer cord. Some P.O. box. Oh my gosh. How am I, how am I, how is this my job? How is this my job when I can't even freaking get a cord? I just won back-to-back -back MVPs, went 17-0 online franchise. I do this for a literal living and I have a lit, the smallest cord Humanly stupid. Oh, I think we're gonna get some throwing abilities though, which makes me happy, and some running abilities maybe. Should I go strong arm just to guarantee this? I'm gonna go strong arm just to guarantee that. Will Levis, I think, got something for MVP. That gets him to 80. Oh wow, that actually was clutch. I think I can get something. Does he not get any passing abilities until. Dang. Really though, I thought he got set feet, but no, he doesn't. I can get fast break, which means I'm. Um, oh, which means I'm designed QB runs, but I don't. Do I need that? Maybe for the one play that I kind of do with it. But okay, shout out Will Levis. Um, sorry, we're playing on a short leash, guys. We want MVP in back-to-back -back seasons. I'll go through the stats of the entire thing. 800 for Henry, 1800 for the kid they call Racy McMath. Um, dude's got to show up in the playoffs, though. It, it does not, nothing matters. We won one playoff game last year that wasn't enough. Sack numbers, Harold Landry, the greatest season for a TD Barrett pass rusher I can think of. Harold Landry, plus one speed he gets. 85 speed, 90 acceleration, superstar. Guy is an absolute stud. Interceptions, 8 for Imani. Gotta be looking at some type of award for him. Murphy, Bunting, Gidry, all these guys. And then also, we should be looking at a dev upgrade for the kid. Harold Landry and Ray. Dude, this is a clean... Can we get a like? Can we get a sub to my golf channel for the clean sweep? Defensive player of the year, offensive player of the year, and MVP. Can I get a golf channel sub? Can I get a golf channel sub? It's Brett Big. Can you watch one golf video for that? I'm not asking. I am asking. Please, please. Um, I'm not. Oh, I can do this. We're playing against the Steelers. Now, we played the Steelers in the regular season. It was a really close game. Um, came down to the wire, man. And it was the game that I thought I was getting a a dev from it. I thought it was going to be like, oh, sick, I'm getting a dev from this, but I didn't end up getting a dev from it. Caleb Farley gets an upgrade, which is awesome. He's going to get a slot ability. Um, thought I was getting a dev because, but then I didn't realize that the, the breakout did not account for um, uh, touchdowns. Like you had to stop them to a certain amount of touchdown, like runs. It wasn't just rushing yards. It was also like rushing touchdowns and he got two rushing touchdowns. So I thought Chance Williams was going to become a superstar the end of the day, he didn't, and that was a big opportunity miss. That's the only thing that I really regret is if I knew that it was run yards, I would have ran commit inside the red zone and just gave him a touchdown. That's, that's the only thing I would have done different. And that's honestly the problem with me not reading well enough. I read stupid. Um, Tajay Spears gets an upgrade to his elusive. Plus one speed. He's now 90 speed. This is Derrick Henry's squad, though. Guys, the way I look at this Steelers team is pretty simple. Um... We blitz every play. And it's KP 
who's a good player. Or no, oh, no, he switched. It's DJ. That makes things interesting. And he has this guy named Parker Jordan, this 99 speed rookie. Number 23 is the problem. He's got a lot of speed on this team. Done a good job kind of getting this team in this spot. Mm. Honestly, this is a solid team. Good DB is good quarterback. A lot of things going on there. But the one thing he doesn't have going for him, and the only thing that he doesn't have going for him is the fact that he's about to play me. And he's going home. Let's go. Good defense, guys. Okay, this is the problem. That 23 is 97 speed. I did not even realize there was a 97. Like, who on earth is Parker Jordan? Attack it right away. That's his one read on that play. As soon as you see the running back go out like that, I'm just watching him. I got an inside third to deal with Parker Jordan. Everybody else, I'll figure it out. Come here. You're going to be all right, bud. You're going to be all right, bud. Let's go. Infield fly, batters out at fair, bro. Oh my gosh. Dude's completely just, dude just threw the worst throw I've ever seen in my life and got rewarded. Come here, you're gonna be all right, bud. You're gonna be okay. Today just isn't your day, but you're gonna be okay, I promise. Good job, Tagosium. There it is. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. This will be caught at about the five. Down to the one? Yep. The there. there it is. Okay. Stop and a touchdown. That's how you want to start a playoff game. Simple, simple, simple. Stop and a touchdown. Risk and reward. To make too early in this game because reward just wasn't big enough to go for it. Dang, good read, dude. It's a really good read, actually. Far side, I was not expecting that. He doesn't get it twice, though. Hmm. Good defense, guys. Tier Tart with help. Wow. Yo, he. The fact he almost caught that says everything. Oh, he's scared. Yeah, he's scared. Dude is scared. If you're taking three on fourth and three, you're terrified. You are absolutely terrified. With Will Levis on this field, you are scared. You're gone, Will. Good job, Levis. Okay, we get Paul at half. Important to remember. We got to be a little bit smart with the clock here. If we can score with not much time left... We can go up potentially 11 points with ball, and I think that is probably going to win the game. Good blocking, guys. First down. There we go, Derek. He got it, didn't he? Yeah. Good job, Will. Oof. Ooh, wow. Uh, that was a little sketchy. Racy. Okay, now we got to be a little smart. Okay, 
Okay, three, we get ball at half. So I'm moderately okay with three points. That is kind of what would shock most people, but I am. I'm I'm somewhat okay taking three here and just playing at half. Okay, take three. Go up, go up seven. We get ball at half. Chance to go up two scores. Dang. Not very good execution there. Not very good execution at all. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Looking deep downfield. Dang. Oh, I wanted to find a way to house that. I just couldn't see it. I couldn't see the path, and I didn't want to risk a lateral. Okay, we get ball at half. Let's get seven here. Let's end this. Okay, so because I didn't score, this drive is 10 out of 10 crucial that we, we got to just, no matter what, we got to find a way to get seven here. And I think I have it right there. McMath. No, that's not like him. Oh, gosh. I haven't seen him miss. Dang. I have not seen him miss that throw all year. He had him, too. I, I totally had him. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. It's a beam. Okay, run the ball, Brett. His defense is solid. Gotta run the ball here. His defense, like, I don't love having these third and tens. Like, that's not how you make it a Super Bowl with getting into third and long is not a good look for me. Come on, Derek. Good run, Derek. First down. That fits the bill. Henry again on second down. Slightly disrespectful. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And oh, it's incomplete. Don't want three, but I know that's one of the best ways to score. Oh, shoot. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Now a shotgun snap is still looking. There it is. Trailing. Got him. I went to McMath, 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 trailing, trying to get my camera right. Will Level stays in. 17-3. Brett, don't be dumb. You know it's spot shake. you got to have someone on the running back. Don't be dumb. Oh, do I get a read here on what he's doing? This is mesh post, maybe? It's not spot shake. This is a post route or something. Saint spot wheel. It's Saint spot wheel. It's bagged. I knew as soon as, like I said, yeah, Saint half back wheel, which means you got a corner on that left side. Fourth and ten. I can see one. So the perks of like playing this lot. As soon as I can see one route, I know, okay. This is bench. This is just stock bench. Manually shade everybody out. I had to know that. I literally manually shaded them outside. He just torched. This is Saints halfback. Saints spot shake, my bad. Oh, Brett, I don't want to stress. I don't want to stress. Just get a stop. Give me those. And the kid, the rookie, the first round pick, may have just punched our ticket. To the AFC chip by absolutely destroying a drag route. Okay, run the ball, be smart, get seven. This is GG's. Had to get a McMath throw in there. Had to, had, I promised one, I had to get one. Try it here. He 
He's short. Oh man, poor guy. Tough game, Steelers. I told, I told you guys this was gonna happen though. I told you, I'm not losing. Like this is my team. I'm good at this team. This is the best defensive season I've ever had. I love this defense. I know this team. I know this defense. I promised you guys, I'm winning something, and I'll do everything I can. Twenty-four to three, absolute punch in the face. Now this game, I think they ended up quitting out early. I know I play the Chargers, so the table is set. It's going to be the Commanders versus the Lions and me versus the Chargers. One of those four is going to go be going home with a ring. <sighs> Chargers next. Okay, guys, rematch, fellas. <sighs> this is what you pay to see. This is, I think we're a better team than we were five minutes ago. Will Levis, <sighs> I truly think we were a better team than we were last year. And we beat this guy last year. We boxed this guy up last year. Um, he's got a really impressive team. And I think that's where we have to look at this team together, talk through it talk through a legitimate game plan, upgrade our players, use our staff points, and figure out what our, how we are going to pull this off, I guess is the main, the main question. How are we going to, to win this game? Now, the way I see it, and I'm like I said, I'm gonna use my staff points, the, the Chargers are probably the best year one, two team. Like if, if you're, if you get asked to choose a team, for a first year franchise, choose the Chargers. And they're, they're, the, they're gonna be the best year one team in the game. That's, it just kind of is. The first couple of years, you have superstars everywhere. You have a great quarterback. You have three superstar receivers if you can get Quentin Johnson upgraded. You will two for sure. You have a superstar running back. You have two superstar edge rushers and a superstar DB. Like you're really, really, really set. They're a tough team to beat. And, um, the other team that I was expecting to see here. The Browns last year was a bit of a shock, but this is kind of more of the team that I was expecting to see. We took him out in the first round, and he's mad. He's still mad about it, and I, I would be mad too. Um, Austin Eckler, look, he's got Quentin Johnson. Oh, he doesn't have three short. Does he have a tight end? No. So he's got Keenan Allen, Quentin Johnson. Like I still see a little bit of a lack of speed here, but not to say that I'm really going to be able to take advantage of it. Um, I do see a little bit of a lack of speed. D-line-wise, he's fire. He's got Joey, and he's got Khalil Mack, and he just likes to blitz every single play. He's got J.C. Jackson, Dean Leonard. Like, this is this is a solid team. If I went in saying that I, like, look, got Sage Ryan. He's fast, he's athletic, and he's good. But you know what? He's not me, and he's not beating me today. So let's go win. Herbert to throw right away. Play that, guys. Play it. We got we got to cover three over there for a reason. Play that. Good play, Bayard. Oh, that's a book. That's such a book. Third and four. Look at the adjustments I just made. I actually think those are really good adjustments. Dang, good play. Split second late. Damn, good play, dude. Oh, I was a split second late. Gotta know that trail. I was looking too much at the dig route and the mm, and the corner route. That's okay. It's a beam, fellas. That's a good read. Okay, I gotta take advantage of when he pinches his line because with both, I gotta like to beat a team like this. You have to limit your fourth down situations because of his two edge rushers he's gonna be able to just bully you on a lot of third and long fourth and long that's where he's gonna win the game if he wins the game it's gonna have a lot to do with third and long and fourth and long and that my friends i can promise you so i need to avoid letting him get in those third and long and fourth and long Try and pick it up through the air. The hook up on the 
Good job, D-Hop. D-Hop! Three for three. Henry. I need more. I need more yards from Henry. 100% I do. Simple, simple, don't fumble. Simple, simple, don't fumble. Okay, he's stripping the ball. I think on passing downs, I might. Okay, let's just take it to the half. Okay, we're taking it to the first quarter. Good quarter. I didn't like my defense. I feel like my defense wasn't good. Um, allowed a stupid play, but I can make up for it. I just got to score and restart this game. That's... Honestly, the way I'm looking at this is just score and let's reset this entire game. Job D hop. He got stuck in his line. We'll take advantage of that all day. Well, Levis undefeated on those situations. He said he's a big body quarterback. 250. He can run that all day. Okay, seven up. Defense has just got to be better. I didn't hate it, but it's got to be better. I can't allow him to burn me on those outside situations with Quentin Johnson. I just, I cannot allow that. Brett, trust it. That's his only read there. That was his only read there. Trust it. The rest of the defense was good behind him. That was his only read. Come on. Good job, KB. Good job, KB. Back to throw here, Herbert. Nope, it's overthrown. Not my favorite defense I've ever come out in, but that's that is overthrown. Here's Herbert. Nope, he's overthrown it. I'm on that too, dude. It's not sweet over here. I'm all over that. He's punting. Good defense, guys. No, wait, let me make sure I get in good punt defense. He's trusting this defense, and I got I gotta respectfully take that a little personally. That's fine. 25 yard line is fine. Kick, catch, interference. Decline. Yeah, that's fine. I, I just I think honestly it was better for me to decline that. Okay, we get ball at half, chance to get seven. Chance to go 14 plus with a couple of good drives here. They'll start on the ground. It's Derek Henry. And he's brought down through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. Good job, Chig. Seven yards there on a first down. I'm going to run this. I think he might be passing yeah, away. I'm just not rushing because I don't want to give him the ball back. I don't want to lose this before half. It's kind of where I'm at with the entire situation. Dang, that's why I didn't want to rush it. Two drops. Two drops in a row. Oh my gosh, two drops in a row. Okay. We hold him to three at least. I'm, I'm just a little upset. Henry and McMath both had legitimate opportunities. McMath especially had a legitimate opportunity to change this game. Okay. We get ball at half. We're going to be down three. Not ideal. 100% not ideal. We're going to be down three. Got to fight. Got to fight. He's short. He's short. Big Bass!
Get off my field, dude. Get off my field. McMath makes up for it. McMath makes up for it. Oh my gosh. Dude sold and then makes the catch of his life. Okay. 14-7. Okay. This is a big time drive. I, I really want to run the ball against him. I'm so due to be able to get some yards with him. Like, so, so, so due. You might not understand how much of a beam that is until you grow up. That's a beam. Oh my gosh. In between like six zones over there. D hop. Three is good. Three is a two possession lead. Oh my! Oh my! I had, I had the touchdown. I think, I had the touchdown to D Hop. I'm pretty sure I did. I got the wind in my back, McManus. That should be a pretty straightforward kick. Yeah, it is. Shoot. Okay. Good two plays for him. Really good two plays for him. On first and ten, Herbert. Touchdown, Chargers. A great effort there. Twenty six Oh, Farley, I needed that, but I needed that. Oh, I even outside shaded him. Okay, good throw. Now we dance, fellas. Now we dance. I need a big play, like I'm not confident in my ability to move super slow on this guy. So I'm like constantly thinking of how I'm gonna get something that's gonna go like 30 or 40 yards, maybe longer. And there it is. Oh my, I should have been freaking housed. Oh, that should have been housed. Will Levis. Gotta love him. Love him or hate him. I love him. Let's go. They go play action here on first down. Escaping the pressure right. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. That's my quarterback. I just want to introduce you to him in case you don't know him. That's my freaking quarterback, dude. Oh my gosh, Leathers, you're so good, man. Had him. Had him, had him, had him. Was banking on that. Was really banking on that. Where am I at? I can't kick from here, hey? Nice to meet you, I'm him. Let's go. Play defense, fellas, play defense. One stop, we're going to the ball. One stop, we're going to the ball. So he's got to score really fast, so I just want to play really backed off coverage. Make sure that I always have either a user or somebody on the two deep routes that I think he's going to want to go to. There's two in particular that I can think of. There's the deep... Um, double move corner route and then there's the PA post shot those are the two plays that I'm most concerned with um, that I'm just going to like have to really key in on
Big hands, kid. Bye bye. Fourteen and what was he ten and three? Fourteen and three? For no reason. First. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Beam damned it. Bowl me, baby. Bowl me. Bowl me. Bowl me. What a season so far. Still, we remain undefeated. We got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. One game away. And I know for a fact I won two players of the year. Our team should be better than it was before. That's all I'm going to say. I McMath should at least have some stupid ability on him. Whether or not he'll get an upgrade, he should have something. GG's, dude. Oh, we're going to the bowl. And I will see you there. Book a ticket. Call your travel agent. We're going to the bowl. Let's go. Okay. Going up against the commanders in MEQ. Oof. We should for sure have some upgrades here. Will Levis, one MVP. Okay. I'm. Oh, do I be safe? I'm going to take a risk on the first one. I just have to get field general. I can now take a risk on the second one. Because I'm trying to raise everything. So I need... And this, to me, raises everything the best. So field general and strong are almost there. Okay, guys. With this... Oh my gosh. They're, they're, this is about to be crazy. This is about to be crazy. I'm one strong arm away from throwing abilities. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, the ability that I'm most excited to put on, there's two. Um, essentially, I'm going to reset these. We're going to go Hot Route Master, which now means we don't. We can take off some. Hot Route Master, Protected, Conductor, High Point Deadeye, Red Zone Deadeye, and then High Point Deadeye. Uh, can I get... Can I get... High point dead eye here. Red zone dead eye. Conductor. No, high point dead eye. I think I can just get maybe a second slot ability. Is it that just a second spot slot ability? Stupid if it is. Am I losing it? Tight out. Oh, high point dead eye right there. It's just in the second slot. So I'll go that and then I can do protected in the fifth slot. So that's Will Levis's new ability. So that changes things. So Will Levis, Derrick Henry, I'm expecting because he won player of the year. Yeah, Racy McMath gets two upgrades. Um, wide receiver of the year, he got superstar dev increase and two upgrades. My controller's dead. I'm gonna have to let this charge for a little bit. But um, I'm gonna go to deep threat because I think, I think deep threat is going to be my best chance to get a ability I don't know what it is, but Racy doesn't need an ability. Racy just doesn't care. Deep and Elite is going to be the ability for Racy McMath. Okay, let's see if we got anything else. Tagosium, no. Dillard, no, no, no. Danico, no. Arden Key. We won the. Oh, yeah, we get X Factor with Harold Landry. Oh, gets him a plus one. Speed and his, his dev goes down to 9,800. That X Factor was actually kind of crucial. Getting Defensive Player of the Year with him, so incredibly important. Bro, the table is set. Oh my gosh, the table is set. McKinstry, no. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Two superstars now here. KB back to X Factor. Woo! Nothing for Imani. Guys. It's going to take the pressure of a thousand suns to stop this team. What a freaking rebuild. Can we get three claps? Even if win or lose this game, can we just get, um, can we just get three claps for like, just what a rebuild, what a season. 
Like, this is unreal. Caleb Farley's going to get an upgrade, plus one slot ability. Um, he's going to go up to an 84, true 84 overall. Um, Chance Williams is going to get an upgrade. We're going up against MEQ. MEQ is a really tough out with this Commander's team. Um, it's definitely a team that I know he's good with. And I have to be very, 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 very hyper aware of that. Because, let's see who he's got. He's got Sam Howell, Terry McLaurin, Igbuka. He's got, he's got good speed. I can't just play man against him. And his D-line's crazy, and his DBs are crazy. Emmanuel Forbes, X-Factor, Castro Fields. The way I go into Super Bowls now, guys, especially with my own team, I don't care. You're not, you're not beating me. I just, that's how I'm going into games. I might lose. But I'm not going into the game thinking there's any chance I'm losing this game. I can also give D Hop. I don't. He doesn't need route apprentice anymore. I might go red zone threat, or deep out elite. I'll go red zone threat. Um, but guys, Super Bowl Titans. Will Levis chance to get a ring. Let's go. Oh, let's go, man. Hey, favorite team in the bowl. This is. I've literally. I did this with the throwback Titans. Um, like the throwback version of them in the 2017 league, but I've never actually, I don't think on any, sorry, I'm just getting rid of my socks. I've never on any occasion, I don't think won a Super Bowl with my stock Titans. I've never made a team this good. This has been an unbelievable two year rebuild. Beautiful stadium for the Super Bowl. Going up against a tough commander's team, a tough commander's opponent. But I promise you I want it more. Try and get a run commit on the first play. If I score here, you gotta kill like button. Sub to my golf channel. Didn't get a run commit, but I knew he wasn't gonna he hundred percent was committed to the run. Even passing once on an early down like that, first play passing there. What that that what that gives me the opportunity to do is now maybe run the ball. And he knows that he can't just, like, run commit all the time. Is what that allows me to do. Good job, Derek. Way to go, Derek. Beam. Good throw, Will. Good throw. Racy McMath. Deep and elite, baby. Let's go. Hey, I showed up. I'm here to play. I'm here to play football. So, I'm here to win. I'm not here to lose. Not here to make friends. I'm here to win the game. Let's go. 7-0. Dot, 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 dot. Come here. Got him. Ah, shoot. Good play. Why is Gidry getting torched like that? Good throws. I just don't know why that's happening. Dang, good, good dodge. Chagosium. What? It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Oh, I've seen him make that throw for me so many times. I've seen him make that same throw for me. Dang, he had Forbes beat too. He 100% had Forbes beat is what's driving me crazy. On play action, they'll throw. Diop. Let's catch Diop. I didn't think his first drive was that clean, so I need to... I personally need to clean some things up. Try the right 
Good job, Derek. It's a good run. He's got it. Good job, Will. Trying to be smart here, man. Play this drive smart. Bro, how though? I respect that, but how? Dang, good play. Good defense by him. Traylon. Love that from you, Traylon. Simple beam, fellas. Josh Wiley. Beam, let's go, man. Two for two, Will Levis. Hey, calm the nerves, be great. Calm the nerves, be great. Get a stop. I don't know what I did so wrong that last drive, but can't allow it here. Just whatever I do, I cannot allow it here. No! That's a snuggie, dude. That's a snuggie. Okay. Ah, uh, I gotta run the ball. Run the ball here. I think he gets ball at half. So he has lost his timeout privileges, which is good for us. Um, so I think no matter what, I could probably go into half plus ten at worst. Go into half plus ten here. Double them. You gotta double them. You gotta double them. Wiley. No! Oh my. No chance, man. How does he drop that? I went spread just to just to make the pass rush have to change a little bit and that worked out perfectly I didn't pass commit for that reason sometimes in those situations we pass okay guys as far as a start great Will Levis is MVP right now unreal first half for Will Levis unfreaking real That's fine. That's fine. He's got no time. Okay, he gets ball at half. The pressure is all on him. So the pressure needs to be coming at him. When you have someone in a situation like this, you can either sit back, relax, or you can go take the game. I could come out and play cover four, but I don't want to let him dial in. You send pressure. You make people scared, and that is how you win games like this. I got to get this three-score lead. If I can stop him here, I look at this stop as a win. If he does not score right here, I think I win the game. Ah, oh, McKinstry shoots.
First down, how to throw. Dancing to his left. Good job, Farley. Man, he's developing. Friend of the channel. Friend of the channel. Another throw for Hal. Throw right side is going to be cut. They'll throw on first down. Here's Hal. Hey, good defense. To try and pick up bigger yardage. To throw on second and ten. Hey. It's a kitchen, bro. It's a kitchen. It's a kitchen out here. I don't even know what that means, but it's a kitchen out here. Seven play in this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Third and long. Here's Howell. Slings this deep from the corner. Good defense. That's a pick, man. Such a book, dude. So here we go, fourth down. Hell. Bagged. Come on. Twenty and freaking out. Finish it. Okay, we're gonna kill clock. Be smart. I'm trying to get his timeouts. Again, it's Henry. That he's brought in runs, taking their time and making it work. Ah, that was dumb. Good play by Forbes. Okay, I'm taking three. But it's incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Okay, that's fine. Still, we're up three scores. We're one stop, but I would have much preferred seven, and I wanted to at least get us to the fourth quarter, but that's okay. Surprise! Surprise! Do I get a sub to the Golf Channel for that? Do I get a sub to the Golf Channel for that? Brett Barrett, Golf Channel, get it to one. I deserve a sub. Oh my gosh, do I get a sub? I'm about to go undefeated with my favorite team, the Tennessee Titans, who had zero superstars. Can I get a Golf Channel sub? That was so freaking tough. Go King. Good job, Derek. It's a good 40 seconds. Oh man, good defense. Good defense. Okay, we get three again. Oh, Derek just did not pick up his dude. That's okay. Honestly, the more we're just stacking points right now. Our chances of the Super Bowl are still incredibly high. Um, but that's two drives in a row where I wish I would have gotten seven. We got ahead early in this game, which was absolutely crucial. The kick by McManus is good. Inbounds. Every inbounds is 30 seconds. Big. Alright, just keep him in bounds. This is third and ten. He's just running the ball. He's done. GG's, dude. Yeah, he's conceded. Um, guys, I just went 20-0. Uh, Again, the second season in a row. And I just won the Super Bowl for the second time. Can I... If you're... Just pl all I'm asking. I'm grinding in Madden, okay? I am at the top of my game. I've probably never been this good. All I'm asking in return... Can I just, can you go to the golf channel? My word for the golf channel is going to be hashtag Henry this time. Last time it was William. Go to the golf channel, sub, watch our video, stay a while, help me follow my dream. And 
just enjoy. And then as you're enjoying that, enjoy the Super Bowl celebration that we get to um, that we get to see. Bang, fellas! My favorite team. We freaking did it, man. We freaking did it. Golf Channel, Brett Bear, guys. I uh, I took my favorite team. I think I could run this back to this team. I just, I've I put in the work. I'm trying to be as good. I, I want to go pro next year. I, I really 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 do. Um, it's to me nothing feels better. This win, this celebration, is everything to me because this is with my this is what I want to happen. I am speaking this into existence. We were lights out on defense. Farley, Bunting, Landry, all played really, really, really good. Will Levis commanded this team start to finish in beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fashion. I took a chance on him year one. I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start Levis. I'm going to see how Levis does. All he did was just go crazy. Then year two, Racy McMath goes absolutely crazy. D Hop takes him under his wing. He wins Offensive Player of the Year. Defensive Player of the Year goes to Landry. Like, what a unbelievable, unreal, beautiful, 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 beautiful season that was. Honestly, everything about this game, this play summed up the game. Watch this. This is when I asked for the Golf Channel sub. Tell me. I don't do this for a living sometimes. I'm playing the running back. Look, I'm on the running back. I'm committing to the running back. Get lurked, bro. Get freaking lurked. You gotta love to see it. You gotta love to see it. And like I said, all I'm asking, do you guys want another season? 10,000 likes on the Titans season? I'm defeated with my favorite team. I want to run this back because I think I could win multiple with my favorite team, which would be a dream Way to end Madden 23. I think this is one of my best Maddens ever. Stat-wise, Will Levis didn't have to be crazy. Derrick Henry didn't have to be crazy. But together, 14, 15, 17 carries and 14 passes. I'm a balanced player. I'm best when I'm balanced. Keeping people honest. Kidry and Byard made big-time plays for us. And guys, the show goes on, man. The show goes on. Super Bowl victory. D-Hop gets an upgrade. Um... I'm going to go physical probably for his upgrade. Plus one trucking. I want to see who won MVP. I think it's got to be Levis. I think I had a rushing. It's got to be Levis. Okay, 2022 season recap. Josh Thompson? Did you predict that Super Bowl MVP? It's Josh Thompson. I'm just stacking rings. One after the other right now. Josh Thompson. Does he get anything for being a Super Bowl MVP? Poor dude. Like, literally just has the greatest career I've ever seen. And still a bronze because Madden's stupid. Eight and a half. Interceptions. Josh Thompson's the freaking GOAT. Guys, Golf Channel. Last time I'm going to say it. Go sub. I just went 21-0 back-to-back years. I haven't lost an online game in 40-some games. Like, 46 or something. Kill like button. Love you guys. Titans year three coming soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have a second channel where I post hockey gameplay. Please go subscribe. The nicest thing you did to me, just go check out that channel. Leave a like. Even if you don't like hockey, give it a chance. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, my Instagram is at BrettBQB. My Twitter is TDBearYG. I am a part of Top Dog Madden. You can get all the best tips at topdogmadden.com for your ebooks, all those type of things. Thank you guys so much for watching. Kill the like button again. If you haven't killed the like button on this video, do it. And once again, go check out my hockey.